you excuse us, please? I'm Dr. House. It's good to meet you. You're being an idiot. <clears throat> You have a tapeworm in your brain. It's not pleasant, but if we don't do anything, you'll be dead by the weekend. Have you actually seen the worm? When you're all better, I'll show you my diplomas. You were sure I had vasculitis, too. Now I can't walk, and I'm wearing a diaper. What's this treatment going to do for me? Well, I'm not talking about a treatment. I'm talking about a cure. But because I might be wrong, you want to die. What made you a cripple? I had an infarction. A heart attack? It's what happens when the blood flow is obstructed. If it's in the heart, it's a heart attack. If it's in the lungs, it's a pulmonary embolism. If it's in the brain, it's a stroke. I had it in my thigh muscles. Wasn't there something they could do? There was plenty they could do. They made the right diagnosis. But the only symptom was pain. Not many people get to experience muscle death. Did you think you were dying? I hoped I was dying. So you hide in your office, refuse to see patients because you don't like the way people look at you. You feel cheated by life, so now you're going to get even with the world. You want me to fight this. Why? What makes you think I'm so much better than you? You're scared, you'll turn into me. I just want to die with a little dignity. There's no such thing. Our bodies break down, sometimes when we're 90, sometimes before we're even born. But it always happens, and there's never any dignity in it. I don't care if you can walk, see, wipe your own ass. It's always ugly, always. We can live with dignity, we can't die with it. Margins are fine. The lesions. Color is good. How long have you been having night terrors? Three weeks. It's afraid to go to bed. It's exhausted, can barely function. What does that tell you? Nothing. It's just fun watching him blink. Name as many animals as you can that begin with the letter B. Go. Baby elephant? Baby elephant is actually a good answer. B is a bear of a letter. What does that tell you? Proves two things. No neurological damage, and your son is never going to be chief fry cook. In teens, there are two likely causes of night terrors. Post-traumatic stress, any recent shootouts at your high school? No. Well then, Dave. Dan. If there's no trauma, the other cause is sexual abuse. Oh. So who's molesting you? Teacher? Extra friendly neighbor? I'd ask if either of you were involved, but you'd deny it. No, we would never do anything to hurt Dan. I say it here, it comes out there. This lack of response is consistent with abuse. There's no one, okay? I, I swear. There was trauma. I got hit in the head during a lacrosse game. Did you know they got hit in the head? They didn't mention it, no. Yeah. Why bother? No, no. We took him to the ER after the game. He was scanned. They tested him. He said he was fine. No concussion. It's got to be something you else. You hound me for my opinion, and then you question my diagnosis. Cool. ER obviously screwed up. Kid's got a concussion. I had double vision before I was hit. Well, that changes everything. You need glasses. That's why you had double vision, which is why you got hit, which is why you have a concussion, which is why you have night terrors. You need to see an ophthalmologist, which I am not. You enjoyed that. I brought a reasonable case to your attention and you shoved it in my face just to humiliate You're me. You're an only child, aren't you? Why would you say that? Because everything is about you. This may seem incredibly controversial, but I think sexual abuse is bad. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't being diddled by daddy or mommy. Anything else is just a bonus. Not an only child. Interesting. What? Don't move. Did I bore you in there? 
What? Um, no, not, not really. Are you tired? Sometimes. He never sleeps. Of course he's tired. Right now, at this moment, are you no, tired? No. That twitch in your leg. Did you feel that? Didn't hurt. His leg twitched. I don't see what the... It's called a myoclonic jerk. It's very common when you're falling asleep. The respiration rate falls, and the brain sometimes interprets this as the body dying, so it sends a pulse to wake it up. So? So, he's not asleep. He's awake. Admit him. Hey, how y'all doing? Interesting fact, every seven years, it's a whole new you. Inspiring metaphor, huh? Dr. House, this is a clean room. Yeah, I read the sign. But cells of different organs reproduce at different rates. So, you get a new kidney every three years, you get a new stomach lining every week. This is why colchicine poisoning causes all these symptoms, but not all at once. Well, we went to the pharmacy. We saw the pills. Colchicine does its damage in a very specific order. First of all, there's the pain in the abdomen, the rash, the fever. Isn't that what you got first? Then the kidneys go, which is exactly what happened to... Brandon. Right. And it screws up your bone marrow. And then neuropathy, <clears throat> painful tingling in the fingers and toes. What do you suppose happens after that? <sighs> Hair loss. The bad news is, your special boy is doing drugs. No, he's not. Ecstasy? No. Toys with Dan and Mike. You know what they cut that stuff with? Apparently, colchicine. Unless you ingested the colchicine through your contact lens solution or skin cream or some other drug you're lying about. I don't know how it happened. I don't care how it happened. It happened. Start, um... Brandon. Lovely. Start Brandon on fab fragments and get him some Tylenol for the hair I pulled out. And get some air in here. Make a note. I should never doubt myself. I think you'll remember. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to be wrong every now and then. What, you don't care about these people? Exhibit A, baby girl heartache. Term baby, 42 hours old. Went into seizure six hours ago, brought into the intensive care, diagnosed with obstruction of the small bowel. I'm still amazed you're actually in the same room with the patient. People don't bug me until they get teeth. Exhibit B, baby boy Howsome, another term baby, 48 hours old. Brought into the NICU three hours before the heartache baby. Fever of unknown origin, 101 degrees, trending upwards. Wow, that is amazing. You hung out in the OBGYN lounge all morning and heard about two sick babies. It's eerie. Don't touch that. All right. We have an infection spreading in the hospital. <laughs> These kids have totally unrelated illnesses. They fell sick within four hours of each other. They had the same delivery rooms, maternity rooms and neighboring, so transmission's possible. They have the same symptoms. The hardy girl has a bowel obstruction. No matter how close their beds are, I'm pretty sure kids can't share blockage. What does bowel obstruction on a chart indicate? Well, normally, I'd say it indicates a patient's bowel is obstructed, but I'm pretty sure you have some deeper truth to it impart. It means that some random doctor of indeterminate skill thinks that the patient's bowel is obstructed. Okay, you're upset because they threw you out of their lounge. Look at the x-ray. It's a normal gas pattern. You want? I Look can get here. you a key to the oncology lounge. Air in the colon. We're getting TiVo. If it's air, no bowel obstruction. Even if it is air, it could have been there before the obstruction. No. Something's infected both these infants. Get up. We're going hunting. For what? Weapons. Hi. Bye. He's screaming, he's fine. Good looking baby. House. What seems to be the problem? Show him your hands, Augustine. It looks like stigmata. Shh. Pious? You must be all a talk around the holy water cooler. You're washing a lot of dishes recently? I help out in the kitchen. Anything new in the kitchen? We just got a donation of saucepans and pots this week. 
I unpacked and washed them. Should have spent your time saving souls. It's easier on the hands. This is contact dermatitis. You're allergic to dish soap. <laughs> Nonsense. We've always used that soap. Why is there a problem now? Well, I've been a doctor for years. Why do I have to keep assuring people that I know what I'm doing? A person can become allergic to substances that they've had repeated and prolonged exposure to. The good news is, free samples. Diphenhydramine, it's an antihistamine. It'll stop the allergic reaction. Take one every eight hours. It might make you feel a little sleepy. And get some of that over-the-counter cortisone cream. Thank you, doctor. You want some water? I have some tea. Well, you just relax for a few minutes. This stuff works pretty fast. Still out by 12. How do you solve a problem like dermatitis? What? Doctor, I want to thank you for your patience. Is she talking to you? I don't know. She's certainly looking at me. Oh, it's good to get a secular diagnosis. The sisters tend to interpret their illnesses as divine intervention. And you don't? And you're wearing an awfully funny hat. Oh, boy. Excuse me. If I break my leg, I believe it happened for a reason. I believe God wanted me to break my leg. I also believe he wants me to put a cast on it. Doctor, something's wrong. Lift up your chin. Sister, you're having an asthma attack. I need you to relax. Roll up her sleeve, please. I'll give you epinephrine. Open your lungs and help you breathe. Yes. It's probably an allergic reaction. She's allergic to an anti-allergy medicine? You figure somebody's out to get her? How are you feeling? Better. I'll put you on some steroids instead. Is my heart supposed to be feeling so funny? It's called adrenaline. It makes your heart beat fast. But not this fast. Get a nurse, please. Help! Somebody help us! Somebody get in here! Call a code and charge up the defibrillator. She's got no pulse. Mom, this is Dr. Gregory House. Nice to meet you. It'd be all right if we spoke alone for a while. Oh. Well, uh, you're gonna need me to... I got your case notes, doctor. There's a cafeteria downstairs. Get yourself whatever you want, as long as there's enough left over for a Reuben sandwich, dry, no fries, hold the pickles. Should run you about 580 with tax. I'll page you when we're done. No. Pickles. Nice kid. How much do you really drink? He's really talking to a patient? I don't know who I am anymore. It's a blood clot. What's so fascinating about that? He likes crazy people. Likes the way they think. They think badly. That's the definition of crazy. Why would he like... They're not boring. He likes that. And the meds? Baseball. I like baseball. Very nice. Very sad. My boy and me, we went to see a game. Not meds. Meds. Medicine. You take what he tells you to take.
No one believes me. I do. I thought he liked rationality. He likes puzzles. Patience of puzzles? You don't think so? I think that people. Yeah, well, he hates them, and he's fascinated by them. Tell me you can't relate to that sentiment. <laughs> you told Luke it never hurt before. Just rough. They didn't hurt. Didn't. Don't lie to him, Limpy. Lively Lucy never lies to Lucas. Look what I do to him. Learn anything from the human connection? Yeah, the Mets suck. Also, for the last two months, she hasn't shaved her legs. Because of the tremors, she cuts herself. The tremors aren't new. She must always cut herself. Exactly. Something changed in the last two months. I'm thinking the amount of blood when she cut herself. So let's start with some blood work. Collect and send for clotting studies, PT, PTT, factor five, protein, CNS, the whole shebang. Good luck. No pickles, and it's cold now. If it's a Reuben, that's the way he likes it. Hey everyone, this is Luke. Allison Cameron, it's nice to finally meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, save it. We're busy. Luke, give us another half hour with your mom. We need to do some tests. Nice kid. What are you doing? Checking for lymphadenopathy. I'm waiting for you. Who are you? I'm Dr. House. Your wife has human African trypanosomiasis. A sleeping sickness. You mean it's not tularemia? A virus, a tumor, or, or cancer? Nope. I've never had an affair. I believe you. And I trust Elise. The treatment for this disease is a drug that's fatal on its own 10% of the time which is why I need your written consent before I can legally prescribe it. Why would she lie if she, she knew it could kill her? I don't ask why patients lie. I just assume they all do. But why? To protect you, because she didn't think it mattered. It just seemed easier, because that's what people do. If you're absolutely certain that your wife has never had sex with anyone but you since you were married, then I'm wrong. But if you think there's a possibility that just one time she wasn't perfect, one weekend you're out of town, one fight where she ran to a friend, one stupid Christmas party, then you need to allow me to start treatment. Because if we don't, she's going to be dead by tomorrow morning. trust your wife that much? I don't know. I'll start the treatment. Margot Davis have been informed of the risks which may arise from my refusal to advise medical care. I hereby release. Who are you? I work for the hospital. The Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital and its employees, agents, and otherwise from any adverse medical conditions resulting from my refusal. It is not the hospital's fault if my son kicks off. Kicks off? I punched up the language, mostly for clarification. I understand my doctors consider my decision to be completely idiotic. Why are you doing this? But I am convinced I know more than they do. I took a biology course in high school. I assume that's, yeah. 
Besides, I enjoy controlling every single aspect of my son's life, even if it means his death. Sign here, please. I brought a pen. Who are you? I'm the doctor who's trying to save your son. You're the mom who's letting him die. Clarification, it's a beautiful thing. His sets are in the 70s. How long has he been like Ten this? Ten minutes. Well, why aren't you doing The something? IVIG put him in respiratory fear. You put him on the IVIG? We did this. So undo it. Chase? It's too late. We killed him. Nobody killed him. He's not dead. Chase, intubate him. He's staying on. What are you doing? You can't do this. Back. You can't do this. Back. He had a bad reaction to some medicine we gave him. What did you just do? He saved his life. The good news is the heart rate thing's not connected to her condition. Well, then she's dying. Because the meningitis treatment isn't helping her. She's getting worse. Well, that brings us to the bad news. The cop tasered her. <sighs> Jerk. Probably couldn't get to his real gun fast enough. First time he hit her in the thigh, and she just kept going like it was nothing. Right about here. Localized numbness? Yeah, in that one spot. But diabetes? I don't think so. Well, no alcohol, not entrapment syndrome, can't be a vitamin deficiency. And we can't chase down every sensory neuropathy. Is that where she bit you? Yeah. What the hell? Can't get angry if you don't feel anything. Stop the gases. What the hell are you doing, House? Saving a 16-year-old kid from a lifetime of immunosuppressant drugs and a very nasty scar. This kid doesn't have lupoid hepatitis. He has acute naphthalene toxicity. Naphthalene? You, you, you're talking about mothballs? Nope. Termites. They create naphthalene to protect their nests, which I'm assuming is rather large and inside all four walls of his bedroom and home. And your assumption is based on what? The autopsy I just conducted on his pet cat. Kalkati and security. You are not removing that kid's liver. Now! Have you completely lost your mind? No, but I have been feeling a little sick lately. Aren't you? There's no way we can do the surgery now. You think? Hi, I'm Dr. House, and this is the coolest day of my life. See? Steroid use shrinks the testicles. I'm clean, man. No steroids, no nothing. Your lips say no. Your prunes say yes. Hypogonadism. Isn't that a great word? Thanks, we don't get to say it nearly enough. Start him on Lupron right away. These freaks are willing to defile themselves for mass entertainment, for money. I feel sorry for them. 
He drops a clean urine, denies using steroids, then you're giving him a drug for what? Steroid abuse? No, no, it's not. No, it's, it's got calcium in it. It's very good for the bones. Basically, at a molecular level, it's, it's just milk. How long do you figure before I get a call from Cuddy? Are you being funny? Apparently not. You know why I give money to this hospital? It's the only way to get attention. See this? Is this a magic trick? Because I am a total David Copperfield fan. Although I thought that tornado of fire, that seemed a little Pain fake. in the wrist. It won't go away for months. Six doctors' brilliant conclusion is to take it easy. I write a check, name goes on a plaque, and 48 hours later, I've got two MRIs, a bone scan, and a diagnosis, carpal tunnel. I'm in surgery that afternoon. Fascinating story. You thought of adapting it for the stage? I love my, look at me. I love my son. I love him more than anything else in the world. And you're going to start paying attention to this case or I'm going to make things miserable. Go back to your son's I'm not problem. leaving here until you get your ass Your way is a problem. Dr. House, I found a picture online of you at a conference. You need a heart transplant. I run, I work out. You I... cut yourself. Probably highly ritualized. You play the same Sarah McLachlan song over and over while you do it. Probably works better than antidepressants. I don't understand how that You're a high-powered to... bulimic. You make yourself throw up. You have to find the most efficient way to vomit without revealing the telltale signs of bulimia, which it's all ooh, very unseemly for a CEO. So you found a common antidote to accidental poisoning to do the job, Ipecac, which is great if your kids just swallowed a bottle of aspirin, but really, really bad if it's a habit. It causes muscle damage, caused the pain in your leg, and destroyed your heart. How often do you do it? Three times a week. In about an hour, there's going to be an emergency meeting of the transplant committee to discuss where you fall on a list should a new heart become available. Problem is, I am required to tell the committee about your bulimia. It's a major psychiatric condition. Ranks right up there with suicidal. Makes you a very bad risk. So you're here to tell me I have just a few hours to live? Unless I lie to the committee. But if they find out, I lose my medical license. This would be a very good time to offer me a bribe. You know, how much is your life worth? How much is my job worth? Why are you here doing this to me? What do you want? I want to know what's right. Am I worth it? You think I'm pathetic, has a good job, everything in the world, but she just doesn't like the way that she oh, looks. Oh, stop hiding. I'm asking you if you want to live or die. You can't even say that. What do you want me to do, cry? Yes, I want you to tell me that your life is important to you because I don't know. Because that's what's on the table right now. Your life.
He's really out of it, huh? Causes of coma. Metabolic, structural... He had his stomach pumped. Why would they do that? We're lab poisoning. Huh, not the typical first guess. Nope, the first guess was faking. The patient's a federal witness, reluctant, I'm assuming. He's also an eight on the Glasgow coma scale. He's barely alive. Pretty tough to fake. Any recent history of head trauma? Bad car accident? Fall? They tell me no, but do an MRI to be sure. Metabolic causes liver, kidney, diabetes. Check for everything. The feds are paying. We're gonna turn a profit on this one, boys. Dr. House, Bill Arnello. I'm a lawyer. I represent Mr. Smith. What's wrong with him? Do I come to you with my problems? He's also my brother. What? You changed your name? Smith wasn't good enough for you? His name's Joey. He's my only brother. He's important to you. Got it. So no placebos for him. We'll use the real medicine. Well, this was fun. Let's do it again soon. Brother in the Mafia? So, just Joey? I was hoping for a nickname. Joey Mango. Joey the Wrench. People know where I am. I want you to do your job. Diagnose him, fix him, and keep him here. We're a bit of a specialized hospital. We generally only deal with patients while they're actually sick. If you release my brother to the government, he does what they want. Even if you fix him, he's dead. I need time to convince him of that. Good news is, if you screw up, you don't have to worry about a malpractice suit. It's dead. One by one, I'll take away the things you love till there's nothing left. So, on the Mafia thing, that's a yes. She sedated. Mrs. Sims, don't worry. Hypoglycemia can cause temporary psychosis and is a common complication during an AGC procedure. Well, I never wanted it done in the first place. We understand you're upset, but we You don't... were supposed to be monitoring her condition, but instead you were bickering and placing bets. I apologize if it looked like we weren't devoting our full attention to your daughter, but I assure you that we... Oh, please, save your pathetic insincerity for your boyfriend. You're wrong. She is, in fact, pathetically sincere. And they didn't screw it up. Who are you? I'm from the lab. The blood tests show your daughter was not hypoglycemic, which means her psychosis wasn't caused by anything these doctors did. So then what was it caused by? I have no idea. But you'll be happy to hear it cannot be cured by diet or exercise. I appreciate your keeping the media away. We're keeping your staff away as well. Take it easy now. I'm in the middle of a campaign. The faster we can get you better, the faster you can get out of here. Anyone else at the fundraiser get sick? I don't think so. And I don't think that's it. I mean, I've been under the weather for weeks, you know, lots of traveling. I'm supposed to be in the Sudan next week. Oh! Helps me concentrate. Even better than drugs. Open your mouth, please. Ah. Uh... It's quite a scar. When I was six, I um, fell off the swing and bit my tongue. Couldn't talk right for the longest time. <laughs> Lots of teasing. You know, it just made me fight harder, speak up for those who can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tongues heal too fast. Your political consultants have written you a nice story. And a tight race that lispers alone could put you over the top. You uh, a Republican or you just hate all politicians? I just find being forced to sit through drivel annoying. You find sincerity annoying. You're a black kid from the ghetto who made it to Yale Law and the United States Senate. That's a sufficiently mythical story. You don't need to lie about your tongue. Must have missed it. What's wrong? What is it? It's not the food, it's your brain. Get an MRI and a lumbar puncture. Cancel your travel plans.
angiogenesis inhibitors prevent the tumors from creating blood vessels. Without blood, the tumor starves. That sounds great. What about the baby? The treatment would be fatal to the baby. I've scheduled a C-section for this afternoon. No. It's in the trial phase right now, but so far, complete remission in more than 30% of subjects. I told Dr. Foreman I didn't want a C-section. When your chances of living were less than a third of what they are now. Well, if the baby is premature, then... Our pediatrics department has the best neonatal ICU in the state. No, his lungs, his brain, he, he's not ready. Yeah, and he could be fine. You don't know what it's like raising a sick child. His odds are much better than yours are. You have to let them at least try this. Talk to her, okay? Leave the room. Okay. How long have you been taking oxybutynine? Uh, since I was about 20. Incontinence is pretty uncommon in a woman of your age. It's even more bizarre in a woman in her 20s. I guess I haven't had the best luck when it comes to my health. Seems that way. You said to your husband, you don't know what it's like raising a sick child. You didn't say you don't know what it would be like. This is not your first child, is it? And he doesn't know. I was 18, I got pregnant, got married. I had the most beautiful little girl, Grace. She had infantile Alexander's disease. I'm sorry. For two years we watched her die. My husband was, a, uh, my first husband was a, a, a great guy. But after that I couldn't even look at him without thinking of her. I left him. I left my job. I left everything. Very moving story. Explains why you're being so selfish. I'm willing to die to protect my husband. Because it's what you want. Your husband wants you to live. Well, he doesn't understand. Oh, no, do. who the hell does? Tragedies happen. You think that turning yourself into a disposable incubator for a few weeks is going to protect your baby from all the crap in this world? Go ahead, die happy. I got no problem with people killing themselves, but don't think it makes you a hero. Okay. You're scheduled for 4 p.m. Fever. Does that mean I have it? You have a rash? Come on. It's for my new bathing suit. I've had it a week. Yeah. Does your neck hurt? If it does, you get the trifecta. It's nothing. I pulled it trying to do a three and a half tuck. Where are your parents? We live in Chicago. I'm here with my coach. wanted to see what you were writing. Go like this. Ow. Go like this. <laughs> uh, Damn it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who the hell walks around with an open urine sample? I'm sorry. I didn't, uh... I didn't... Uh... You think that was a bit of an overreaction? Well, he peed on me. I'm not into that. It's apple juice. Uh, go find that guy and apologize. One more patient complaint, and you're looking at a suspension. I forgive you for ruining my jacket. Look, you seem like a regular kind of guy. Not the type to get another regular guy into trouble, all right? 
20 bucks cash if you'll stop crying. <laughs> Forgive me, yell at me. Just give me something I can work with, okay? To make nice, get a wheelchair. Can get this guy into the ER. What happened? Right pupils blown. <sighs> Holy! You gave the guy a stroke? <laughs> Did you hike to the fence? And how far? Yes, it's about a half a mile from my farmhouse. And where is the pain localized? It started just above my ankle, and it's radiating up. So, what should we do first? Family history. Indicative of leg pain, that's a very short list. Any history of bone cancer, osteogenesis imperfecta, or multiple myeloma? Could be a blood issue. We should run a CBC and a D-dimer. And get an MRI. MRI or a PET scan? If the problem's vascular, he's better off. <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks for playing. Patient's dead. You killed him. We had no time to run any tests. There was nothing we could do. You had time to look at the leg. I thought we were starting with the farmer's case first. We are. But if we're going to look at a leg... What's going on? Hi. Hi. I'm Greg House. You must be Matt. Mark. Mark where? Don't get up. Sorry. Pair of coffees. Hey. Hi. Wow. Greg House. Yeah. Wow. No, I haven't been avoiding you. I just didn't want to waste your time. You know, the other doctors checked me out. I said it was just stress. College season, kids, parents, they're all over me. Makes sense to me. Greg. What do you want me to do? You said you'd check him out. He says he's healthy. What's to check out? Hmm? Sorry for the mix-up, but I'm glad you two got a chance to catch up. Looks like you're having fun. Oh, he's good. You can fake sincerity. You can fake pretty much anything. I can't tell you how much I like your fella. Yeah, me too. You know, I thought you'd be all sarcastic. Bitter, you know, because... Stacy married me. You know, we should do things together. Maybe throw a ball around or something. Guy stuff. We could go for a run together. Yeah. It's Oscar Wilde. Wow. This pissing contest is really turning me on. He needs to go to the hospital. Here's to women. You can't live with them. You can't kill them. Tell the neighbors they're stripping in Atlantic City. Damn straight. I'm definitely taller. I have more hair. And I think that... Oh... Oh. Someone call 911 for a wagon to Princeton Plainsboro. Yes, What happened? It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to worry about. Unless you had the veal. You dosed him. I told you I'd check him out. I was a little worried they were going to get here before he passed out. Would have been tougher to get him to drink. I'll give you a ride. We can talk. Checking up on me? I like all the pretty lights. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Your full name? Mark Warner. Is your mother living? No. Limbic system's intact. Say you find a stamped envelope on the street, what do you do? Find a mailbox and mail it. Jeez, what a guy. His front lobe is working way better than mine. Do you remember when you got married? Three years ago this July, who is that? What? Could be a problem with his long-term memory. Big church wedding? Is that house? You remember his voices? This serves no diagnostic purpose. Oh, I thought you skimped on the limbic system there. Emotional reactions, I just want to be thorough. Atheistic bride wear a pretty white dress. Was she thinking of you? Is that what you medically need to know? What jewelry did your bride wear? She never wears any jewelry. Except that cross her mother gave to her. No underwear either. At least not that day. I remember because she ripped her pretty white dress off in the car. That the sort of answer you're looking for, doctor? I think I upset him. You gotta stop this now. I remember the honeymoon was in Paris. I remember because we didn't leave the room for two weeks. You want the details on that? 
little defensive. It's not paranoia if someone's out to get you. 